Jerry Zanoy here, our 16th presidential circle. was very disappointed last Monday to review what happened here. Finance director summarized the end of year status. Surplus is gone. He had initially projected a couple hundred thousand in November. And all spending of operating expenses was spent, 98.85, he, indi he indicated. A major PO dro drove the encumbrances of $100,000 with a local contractor for the Route 1 and Winnicott at intersection project. There are $732 worth of open POs going into 2013. Selectman Pierce immediately questioned the 100K, and the rationale given by the Director of Finance was weak. I needed a vehicle to encumber. The PO is the easiest. We essentially have no contract with a vendor. We know that it will be voided after March voting no matter what happens. None of this washed with Mr. Pierce, and he, so, and he said so. Mr. Moore spoke for 12 minutes and did not mention one iota of the 100K. He focused on horse saddles, training, and gravel, the total of which was 25,000. His silence was, spoke volumes to me on this subject. Mr. Nichols went through the detail of municipal budget law, RSA 32.7. PO was legally unenforceable, exceeded the 50,000 procurement policy level without selecting signatures, lacked transparency in vetting in the public. This PO was signed on December the 20th. The selectmen had meetings on the 17th of December and the 27th of December. No mention of this occurred. Why, Mr. Welch? Nick, Mr. Nichols motioned that the 100K incumbents would be voided, should be voided, and the money go to surplus, undesignated fund balance. Selectman Moore said, and he went, <coughs> how pure do you want to be here? That spoke volumes to me well, as well. This has been a matter of convention. Check the records of 9, 10, and 11 for encumbrances. You'll see a slope downward. As a matter of fact, in 011, we, the final encumbrance of 011 was less than one half it had been the previous six years. We went after it. Chairman Griffin, uh, Mr. Bean simply asked about the legality of the matter. Nobody responded that I could see. And Mr. Griffin turned to Mr. Schwarzer and said, how do you feel about it, Mike? You've never given us wrong information <coughs> before. And Mike said, well, I thought it was a good thing to do. I, I think that, uh, I think that uh, that's what you wanted me to do back in previous meetings. And Mr. Griffin said, yes, you're right. Let's take a vote. And guess what it was? Three to two, as it has been many times during the year, and people are looking at that right now and will be reported on. Fifteen seconds. All I've got to say is it's the same old story, and we're back again. The old boys seem to be back in again with their voting authority. That's all I have to say. <laughs> Who are the old boys? It's, it's a term that's going around. <laughs> I thought they left last year. Um,